back with another video and if you want to see how I achieve this look stay tuned I do have a coloring video on this look as well to see in details how I dyed this wig but this is just a mini tutorial go ahead and check this out to get this full look you want to stay tuned So let's get started here I'm just cutting her ear taps out per usual I did switch a few things up since the last video so it is imperative to stay tuned till the end I'm just applying the makeup on the ball cap before I actually got to be spraying it so this is something new a new technique that I have been doing um, so definitely try this out I think it definitely provides a better melt um, of course after coming from the dryer you're going to want to put a little bit more makeup on it um, but I'm just going ahead and putting that makeup covering the full ball cap so here in this video after actually applying the makeup I actually lift the cap up and put got to be gel and then I also go ahead and apply the got to be spray and I pull the cap back down they're got to be spraying her ball cap. I go ahead and put her under the dryer for 15 minutes. After she comes from the dryer, I do begin to cut her ball cap. I will be posting a dedicated ball cap video, so definitely stay tuned for this. Here, I'm just trying to go ahead and mark the areas in which I'm going to apply the glue. And these are just a line of demarcation so that I don't go any further with the glue here. And I'm just doing this with the same shade of her makeup. It will show up because it isn't blended. So it'll definitely show up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew the back of her legs down. So I'm going to pin her hair up and ask her to hold it so that I can sew this back down. If you guys would like to see how I sew the back of her lace down, definitely comment below and I will drop a detailed video on this. But here I am just going ahead and applying her first layer of glue. Do apply two layers of glue to my girl. My girl's going on spring break. I don't want this wig to slip. Need that long lasting hold, three to four weeks, you know. So we're gonna do two layers today. So here you're going to have to ask your client to get a little hands on and hold one side of the lace down or pull one side of the lace as you apply the other side of the lace. I find this to be really helpful because it doesn't like permanently place that lace where you want it yet. Like you have a little bit more time to like still position things. But once that lace sits in that glue, <laughs> it's done. It's like painful to pull it up. And in the last clip, I was just parting the hair out so that I can cut the proper ear tabs out for her. And here's a closer look on how I do section that off before cutting. So off camera, I definitely did add a bit more glue to the corners just to make sure that the corners are down. Who hates the corners lifting on a lace. I know I do. I do split the lace down the middle with the scissors and then proceed to add my silk scarf. If you do want to get this silk scarf, it is available at www.vanityaffairco.com. And this is just to protect and Further secure that lace down. I always use this during the melting process and I always use this to tie my hair up. I always recommend all my clients to use this to tie their hair up. It's just a way to protect your lace and your edges like all in one. After I put C's lace protector on, I do proceed to put her under the dryer for 15 minutes, 15 whole minutes. And then after she comes from the dryer, the fun stuff cut in the lace i love it here y'all know it is essential to take your time while cutting this lace like we are not in a rush it is a marathon like we're not in a rush we is not in a rush after cutting the lace off i definitely sectioned her hair off for baby hairs i'm sorry guys don't kill me i did not record me 
doing her baby hairs but you can definitely check out my last video to see how I laid baby hairs because I did the same method that I did in my last video. It wouldn't be an Aaliyah vanity install if I didn't use my Cura Care Stick. Like, I love this stuff. Like, I use this to make sure my installs are nice, flat, and sleek. Like, I love you, Cura Care. Like, I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> I gave y'all a little tease cutting these baby hairs. But, like I said, check out my last video to see how I lay my baby hairs. And here I'm just wetting the hair with just water and conditioner like no additional products were used in this hair but water and conditioner and this hair turns out to be so beautiful and voluptuous when it's dry and all you have to do is put water and conditioner in it you would like to purchase this wig you can purchase it from vanityaffairco.com and again follow us on instagram at vanityaffairco and aliyah.vanity stay tuned for more videos make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel